He was a one-man show for so many years. John was always someone who was very steady. Uh, John was someone who didn't get rattled easily. He was just a fount of knowledge. He was on call 24-7. He was very committed to the hospital and his patients. One thing I remember growing up was uh, how excited he was about the new technology. Uh, in particular, I think it was when I was in high school, uh, he and a, a group of a couple other radiologists in Omaha opened the first MRI scanner in Omaha. This was uh, when it was just coming out and uh, almost seemed like magic at the time. Dr. Hagstrom was a pioneer in radiology in this community. He was one of the first radiologists to learn MRI. He was the first radiologist in the community who really focused and dedicated himself to developing pediatric radiology. He learned some pediatrics from his predecessors, but he's the first one who really focused on it to bring the high level of quality and interpretation for the needs of children to the community in the state. Up to that point in time, uh, Omaha did not have a pediatric radiologist, but uh, John was very interested in that field. He understood that MRI was going to be very important in uh, pediatric imaging because uh, uh, it did not use ionizing radiation. He was the only person that uh, could uh, do a good job with the complete spectrum of pediatrics. Well, and I think of my dad as a radiologist. I, I think uh, what comes to mind, first of all, which I, th I think everyone always brings up about him, is he was a bit of a workaholic. Uh, he was at the, he was in solo practice for 18 hours, and then he went to the hospital every day, 365 days a year. Um, he was on call 24-7. He was very committed to the hospital and his patients. I think that very clearly John served as a mentor for medical students and also for residents as they came through Children's Hospital. He was very definitely someone who was willing to share uh, his knowledge and his expertise and his wisdom uh, with the uh, young individuals coming into medicine and, and assisting them in really understanding the uniqueness of pediatrics and the uniqueness of pediatric radiology. My father was the radiologist at Children's Hospital uh, for over 18 years uh, in solo practice. Um, during that time, all of the radiology residents, both at Creighton and UNMC, rotated uh, through Children's. Uh, as I've gone through my career, uh, most everyone who's trained in Omaha knows who I am because they've worked with my dad. I think the biggest contribution I would see him having made is really always being very cognizant of how to use the technology to minimize radiation exposure for the children but to optimize the imagery for diagnostic purposes. He gave so much of himself and so much of his life to the practice of radiology, to pediatric radiology, and to children's hospital. And I don't think that, that people will ever really know how much uh, he gave of himself. He will always be remembered uh, as someone who made great contributions 
uh, to the imaging uh, technology that was impacting children's here in the community and in the state. And a well-deserved tribute uh, to you this evening, John. Well, I always feel a sense of pride when anyone uh, compliments uh, uh, my father, this is a very prestigious award, and I know both he and I are humbled that he's received it. Um, I hope I can live up to uh, the example of radiologic excellence he's set for me.